Yeah, the idea is to be persuasive, so try to be concise and all that kind of crap. So I'm going to start with the end, the end game. We've sort of figured out where we came from. This is completely metaphorical to any addiction. Just pick one, heroin, cigarettes, it doesn't matter. We're addicted to life, we're born into an addiction. We're never really going to be satisfied. We're always going to keep saying stupid things that the typical average alcoholic says. Just one more drink, just one more glass, just one more cigarette, just one more, just one more, one more, one more, one more. And we're never going to be able to let go of it. We're always going to keep rationalizing and defending it at a psychological need. But if we're honest, have a real truthful and honest discussion about this crap is, yeah, yeah what we want is silly shit. We'll be pleased if, uh, you know, for these stupid kind of cheap and insignificant glories that we're after. And uh, even if we give you what you want, a week later, you're going to want something else pretty damn hard. And that's just the way our brains work. It's not a psychology game that can be won. And more importantly, I think it's not risk that can be justified. I personally haven't lived the worst horrors, and so um, how could I endorse anybody else having those horrors imposed in them in the future? How can I say it's worth it? I think it's totally arrogant and beyond any individual, no matter how blissful and happy they think they are, to justify that kind of imposition. That's a key word in this whole argument, is the fact that life is an imposition, that we have complete control over its existence. It's time to engineer a graceful ending to the game, a graceful exit for life itself. Because it is <clears throat> DNA, out of control. It isn't doing anything beautiful or graceful or wonderful. It's um, a rotten, lousy, wife-beating, debaucherous, crazy motherfucker on steroids kind of thing. It's the worst human being on steroids. There's just nothing um, except our addictions um, that make any of this make sense. If we weren't addicted, we would be able to see it so clear how idiotic it is.